Hey, Looker developers, I want to introduce you to a tool that will guard your LookML from breaking changes upstream. It will help you write more reliable code and can alert you to updates that break dashboards downstream. Looker Continuous Integration can stop the domino effect of a small breaking change so you can build with confidence. LookML development is the craft of shaping raw data into usable governed models. Every stage of this development offers a chance to catch and correct potential issues, from connecting to data, to joining tables, all the way to creating insights with looks and dashboards. Every time you make a pull request, you're trusting that every piece of that complex pipeline will hold up. What if you could stop just trusting the process and start controlling it with Looker Continuous Integration? There are four validators in a Looker CI suite. The SQL validator, the assert validator, the LookML validator, and the content validator. These help protect you from upstream changes. They check your syntax and alert you to disruptions in content downstream. When you connect to your data, whether you're connecting to a database or extending someone else's model, you're relying on that data to be correct and complete. The job of the SQL validator is to check that the dimensions in your LookML correctly map to your database tables. It will run all dimensions defined in your LookML to check for naming issues, typos, and missing or broken joins, anything that would prevent a query from running against your database. This allows you to correct your code or to address upstream changes with other teams. Let me show you an error returned when the SQL in a dimension I created didn't match with what was in the database. In the database, the column name was email, but I indicated user underscore email. I know exactly what adjustment to make now to fix the name, instead of waiting for the query to fail after it's been deployed. The SQL validators can be configured to exclude specific explorers and models, or to run only on specific explorers and models. In addition, you can configure specific dimensions to be excluded. For instance, because parameters don't run during validation, for the SQL validator, dimensions based on those parameters will fail. So in order to exclude those, I'll add CI colon ignore to my tags in that dimension, so I won't be alerted with a false positive error message. Sometimes errors arise that are invisible to a query because the column exists in a database, but the query returns incorrect or invalid data due to an upstream model or data issue. That's where the assert validator comes in. The assert validator is a powerful tool when used with well-written data tests. Here are two ways to use the assert validator. You can write general data tests that check that your primary keys are unique, or write more custom data tests to check that historical data returns an expected number. We wouldn't want last year's revenue returning zero. That would tell us that there's an error somewhere upstream. Like the SQL validator, the assert validator can also be configured to exclude or include certain explorers and models. Using this validator with well-written tests can proactively safeguard your data pipelines against hidden issues. It's a powerful tool for protecting your content. When you're writing LookML, either in the Looker UI or elsewhere, the LookML validator checks for syntax errors. With the configurable Looker CI version of the validator, you can set the severity to alert you of info, warning, and error-based issues, so you can fix them before submitting a pull request. The content validator checks that dashboards and looks do not break based on your changes. It has been integrated into the Looker CI. You can configure it to exclude or include certain models, explorers, or folders. With incremental validation, the SQL and content validators can be configured to check just the development branch that you are working on so that you can fix your own errors without dealing with errors from the main branch. Oh look, my change is gonna break a dashboard. Thank goodness Looker CI caught it. I'd better go address it. These tools have increased my productivity and helped me catch and correct errors before they became a big problem. Check the documentation below to see more configurations and create suites that run automatically when you make a pull request, run the suites, and test out the workflow. By integrating these tools, you can not only increase your productivity, but also build a more reliable and resilient code base from the ground up. Thanks for tuning in. Chat soon.